Hey, this is Adam Torres, and I'm here to tell you that it has never been easier to start your very own podcast. At Mission Matters, our goal is to amplify stories that matter. That means we want to help you start your podcast because your story matters. We can do this in three different ways. One, join our podcast school and take a free or paid course. Two, visit our resources page where we've already figured out what you need, such as where to host your podcast. Or three, heck, we can even do everything for you through our podcast agency, including editing for cheaper than you can do in-house. Oh, and no contracts, services month to month. Get started by heading over to missionmatters.com and click on Start a Podcast. All right, now let's get into the show. Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of the Mission Matters Marketing Podcast, your source for all things marketing. My name is Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram at Ask Adam Torres. Keep up with my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all that other good stuff. Always love to connect with you there. And always, if you'd like to apply to become a co-author of one of my upcoming books, just head on over to the website, missionmatters.com, and click on Become an Author to Apply. All right, so today I have Anand Rao on the line, and he is SVP of Digital Business over at AutoNation. Anand, welcome to the show. Oh, thank you, Adam. So uh, I'm excited to get into today's topic. So your business is digital. Once upon a time, there were questions about digital, how it fits into your overall, uh, the landscape and how you run your business. Well, hey, now we're all digital. I'm excited to get into this with you. But before we do, I want to give the audience a little bit more of the background on what you're doing over at AutoNation. Uh, tell us a little bit more about, about, about what you do, please. Great. So AutoNation is the country's largest uh, automotive retail group. Uh, we own about 300 car dealerships across 17 different states and 32 different brands. And we are a publicly traded company, $22 billion in revenue. Uh, and we serve customers across uh, the shopping spectrum of new cars, used cars, auto parts, service, et cetera. So we're truly looking to be the center of the automotive ecosystem in the United States. Uh, you know, I'll give you a little bit of background about the industry. You know, the industry has been around for, both, you know, almost a decade now. And, you know, it's one of the oldest industries in the in the United States. Uh, and it's deep-rooted in the culture of people want to go to dealerships to buy cars. But if uh, COVID has taught us one thing, uh, it is that customers are looking for different ways to shop. And we have seen a pretty massive increase in the way customers want to engage with dealerships via digital means. Some even want to buy a car, you know, sitting on the comfort of their house and getting it delivered to their doorstep. Um, and COVID has shown that contactless ways of communication, uh, information uh, gathered through digital means, and even transactions to buy a vehicle online are becoming more and more prevalent. So increasingly, we're seeing that the digital first economy is taking shape. If you think back to about Five or ten years ago, the same question was coming up about mobile, right? And people were saying, uh, is mobile here to stay? Is mobile a fad? And at some point, they said, okay, we need to be mobile first. So anything we, anything that we develop on digital has to be mobile first. And today what we're seeing is that businesses themselves have to be digital first. So that's one of my key takeaways here. I have three takeaways. The first one is that Business has to be digital first, which means that, you know, uh, any new product, new service has to be thought about first as how would it manifest via digital uh, before you start thinking about how would it manifest in the store. Make sense, Adam? No. No, make it does, and uh, you know when you really think about it, and this is why I, I like going through this with you because you have a really unique vantage point. Because number one, you're in a historically uh, a, a industry that's historically always been in person, you know, uh, for the most part, and then uh, you know it's changed a little bit to where then people could see things online, but now people are you know buying online and you know kind of going through the whole process and creating a whole another thing, and then the size of Auto Nation. I mean, you have a really unique vantage point. So um, you gave us your first takeaway. Um, Let's go through the other two. I want I want to go a little bit further into like why um, everybody needs to think about their business being digital. Yeah, sure. Look, the second one is that as businesses think about their culture, they have to be all in on digital, meaning every aspect of their business has to be digital, not just 
you know, how do we interact with our customers? What transactions do we enable for our customers? What ads do we give to our associates? But think about accounting and finance and product development and even, even functions like HR and people today have to be thought about as digital because if you don't, you know, you're going to be left behind. How can people be productive working from home is a question that can only be answered if you're thinking digital at the core. Right, so that's my second key takeaway is that you are all in, which means that, again, this kind of supports that first point, which is that your business is digital. Digital is no longer, no, no longer a tool for you to leverage to digitize your business, but you have to think about your business as digital. I don't care, like, what business you're in. I mean, think of what's happened to the wellness and health space. Think of all the gyms that are out there. The ones that really thought digital and thought about customers rather than coming in to do their workout, being able to do it at home, those are the ones that survive, right? Versus the ones that, you know, rely on people coming in. Today, the unit economics just don't work because because of social distancing, you can only have maybe 50% of the people you used to have in your location before. Now it's cut in half. Uh, how does the unit economics work? especially when you have to pay rent and, you know, you, you, you own all, with all of the different assets in the gym. Uh, that's just one example, and that example plays out in every sort of retail space as well. Yeah, and so let's, uh, let's go to the third one. So give us your third takeaway. The third takeaway is that speed and agility really matters. Uh, mm. You have to be quick, data-centered in decision-making, for example, even to allocate capital. You can't sit and ponder that for a while. You have to decide quickly. Um, your hiring has to be fast because people have options today. Uh, you need agility in marketing. You need more throughput in your digital development. So speed and agility really matters. And um, all of that adds to your ability to pivot quickly. And why does pivot quickly matter? Because look, this was just one shock to the system. COVID-19 came out of nowhere, happened really fast, and in a matter of weeks, it turned things upside down. Well, guess what? I think it's going to happen more and more. There's going to be more pandemics like this. Think of weather and what that's going to do. Everyone's talking about sea levels rising and you know weather events happening. So these kinds of shocks are going to happen more and more and more quickly. And businesses have to be ready to pivot. So speed and agility really matter. And so, you know, I think, and I love your takeaways, by the way, like first off, speed, um, understanding that, that digital is a first in terms of um, in terms of the way we need to be thinking about like mobile for digital first. I mean, love, I love all of these. Um, so where do you think, and this is, uh, this is a broad question, but in the same sense, um, I think certain themes tend to arise over and over. Where do you think people go wrong a lot of times? Or maybe or if we don't want to use the word wrong, let's say, where do you think there's a lot of opportunity for many out there that they kind of just miss the boat on some of these takeaways that you're given? I think let's, let's talk about kind of who misses the boat first, right? Uh, I think the boat is, is missed certainly on, you know, thinking of your, your business as being digital. And the people that don't think of their business as digital are the people that are mired in a product and sales oriented culture. When people believe that business only happens at the store, for example, and nowhere else, uh, people that believe that, you know, digital is something that is only technology. Um, that's where I think the issues happen. Every single person and every single business, every single company, small, medium, large, has to think digital at the core, right? Which means that they themselves have to change their own behaviors, the way they consume content, right? They need to start consuming it more digitally. They need to become adopters of apps on their phone. Um, and all of that is happening. COVID has already been doing that. But it's, it's the people in these organizations that have to start thinking digital first in order to think that their business is digital. 
It's awesome. No, I, I completely get it. And that is one of the big, um, the big ones. And I think as we design things and we look at different types of companies, whether it's auto, it really doesn't matter what kind of company. Now, and I like that you brought up the gym example. Like that's going to be the difference between those that, you know, stay in this for a long time and, you know, create different profit centers and other ways to, to um, not just keep the doors open, but to thrive and to grow. Um, those are going to be the businesses that succeed, the ones that maybe, you know, don't embrace that model or that new model that we're in. Um, um, unfortunately, those are going to have a harder time. Um, so, Anand, that being said, if somebody, and I can talk about this all day long, and I know we barely scratched the surface on this one, um, but we're about out of time. So, if somebody is listening to this and they want more information, or they want to connect to learn more about your work and what you're up to, I mean, what's the best way for them to do that? They can reach me on my email. It's R-A-O-A-N-A-N at yahoo.com. I'm on LinkedIn. Uh, and the easiest way is to just shoot me an email. I'm happy to help and respond in any way I can. Fantastic. Well, and I really appreciate you coming on the show today and sharing more about your background and also today's topic, which I think is really important, which is your business is digital, which it is, mine is, yours is, all of them are. Um, so I love this. And uh, to the audience, as always, thank you for tuning in. Hope you got a lot of value out of this. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to the podcast, uh, leave me a review on the Apple iTunes store. And if you're watching this on our YouTube channel, Mission Matters Marketing, definitely give us a subscribe there, but also leave us some comments on the video. Love to know what kind of prize and things that you're working. And Anand, thanks again for coming on the show. Thank you, Adam. Great talking to you.